Ever since the dawn of time, mankind has unfathomed the timing of his visitation. Suddenly, the Lord will come as a thief in the night unexpectedly. Suppose you've been caught with your pants down red-handed. I don't know, will you be taken by surprise or what? Will you be there when tombs break open and mountains melt like wax before the Lord? Will you be there when the earthquakes and pages skies tear? When the moment hatches in time's womb, will you be there to witness and behold the galaxies as they parade in a guard of honor for the one who holds the seven stars in the palm of his hands? Which side will you be? Will you be there when the distant shores ululate, besting testimonial rhymes of divinity, when shadows and figures, entities, eternities of infinite infinities, and lamentantly assemble to chant an anthem of perpetual holiness for His Majesty. Ever since the dawn of time, mankind has unfathomed the timing of His visitation. Will you be there at the sound of the trumpet when the Lord shall descend from heaven above, riding on the wings of the storm? When God's gentle giants in their distinguishing devices queue to receive the eternal prize in the dispensation of the fullness of the times, can I get a witness in this house? This is a cornerstone poem mastered by the soul happiness of all intelligent beings. Up to so far, we are still waiting in bated breath with our hands fixed on the plower. We will never give up, let up, shut up until God takes us up. And this is the meditation that keeps our hopes perpetuated for the coming of the desire. Messiah. I don't want to miss the moment when the Messiah cometh from the caves of angelhood and mentions of triune Godhead existence. Nambaya. When he walks down the Isle of Holy Mount Zion, mental thin Shekinah. I mean, how can we lose with the stuff we use? Why sit there and die? Why sit there broke, busted and disgusted? Stand up and testify. Stand up and be counted. For as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. Yes, we stand on the edge of time. We stand on the edge of seeing heaven on earth, an escalation, a manifestation of those who will push beyond the comfort of the flesh into the realm of the spirit. This poem shall be called the end of the beginning, or should I say the beginning of the end. Ever since the dawn of time, mankind has unfathomed the timing of his visitation. Amen.